Welcome to this video presentation about musculoskeletal ultrasound, taking physiotherapy to the next level. My name is Mark Schmitz, I'm a sonographist and I develop and teach musculoskeletal ultrasound courses in several countries to general practitioners, medical specialists and physiotherapists. I'm also a lecturer in anatomy and physiotherapy. I'm the founder of the Anatomy and Physiotherapy website, where the latest evidence-based information about anatomy and physiotherapy is posted on almost a daily basis. High quality and spam free. Please like us. The words ultrasound, ultrasonography and sonography are all synonyms. This three-part presentation is about ultrasound within the musculoskeletal domain. Musculoskeletal ultrasound, in short, MSU. This is part one, discussing the introduction in MSU. MSU is a medical imaging technique used to visualize muscles, tendons, nerves and other structures in order to capture their size, structure and function with real-time imaging. In this slide you can see a MSU scan of the upper leg. In the upper left image, a transverse view of the femur and all four quadriceps muscles can be seen. The bright, white, hyperechoic epimysium sheets surrounding each muscle belly are visualized very clearly. Ultrasound technology is rapidly advancing and being refined and is it aimed at both increasing image quality and opening new fields of applications. So what equipment do we need for MSU? First of all, we need a transducer. Transducers come in various shapes and dimensions. Small transducers for the smaller body parts. Convex transducers for abdominal ultrasound. Thin long transducers for intra-cavity assessments. And the straight linear transducers we generally use in MSU. The transducer is an essential element of the ultrasound equipment, responsible for the generation of an ultrasound beam, which is sent into the body and going through various soft tissue layers like skin, fat, muscle and tendon. Bone is hard and can't absorb the ultrasound beam, so the bone will reflect the beam back. The transducer detects the returning echoes and sends the signal to the ultrasound system where all information is processed by the software. After processing, the image can be seen on screen. The whole process of sending, receiving and processing happens so fast that there is no delay. All structures can be scanned and visualized real time. These soft tissue structures can be assessed with MSU, for example, skin, muscle, bursa, which much better will be depicted when inflamed, tendon and the superficial bone. Do you know which body part this is? It's the shoulder. To be precise, a transverse scan of the supraspinatus tendon. Other structures that we can visualize with MSU are fat. For example, here in the elbow's coronoid fossa and nerve, here a dynamic assessment of the median nerve in the carpal tunnel with in the depth the moving flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus tendons. Information about MSU courses in your country can be found by visiting these websites. MSU is the preferred imaging technique in extra-articular soft tissue problems like muscle, tendon, ligament, bursa and other structures. Capsular problems can also be assessed with MSU, but MSU is somewhat more limited here. Intra-articular structures are hard to assess with MSU, sometimes it's even impossible. MSU is preferred over MRI for extra-articular structures due to numerous advantages. One important advantage is that one can test the patient dynamically. 
is there a suspicion of a subacromial impingement, place the transducer on the patient and see what happens with the supraspinatus and acromion when the patient makes an abduction movement. All these advantages from MSU come with a high general diagnostic value, equally to MRI. The high diagnostic value of ultrasound is strictly related to a few important criteria. MSU's diagnostic accuracy is not profession dependent, but user dependent. Anybody can do it as long as they fit the criteria described on this slide. The physiotherapist seems one of the professions who are most suitable with their background in musculoskeletal anatomy, pathology and examination. But only as long as they use MSU a lot, since there is a long learning curve. This goes for every profession. Current applications of MSU essentially fall into two distinct areas of musculoskeletal imaging. Diagnostic Im imaging and rehabilitative ultrasound imaging, or in short, RUSI. RUSI includes evaluation of muscle structures and behavior, as well as the use of MSU as a biofeedback mechanism. Specifically, this includes the measurement of morphological features, such as muscle length, depth, diameter, cross-sectional area, and penation angles. More about RUSI will be discussed in the third part of this video presentation. Diagnostic MSU involves examining the effects of injury or disease on ligament, tendon, muscle tissues and other soft tissue structures. Diagnostic MSU can be used for diagnostic purposes, if allowed by the rules and regulations of your country. Furthermore, it can be used for completing the ICF framework, the domain of body structures, for connective tissue evaluation, for informing the patient about the pathology, and it's a help in making decision in how much to load the patient or when to start with therapy. Diagnostic MSU requires different skills and training than those needed for RUSI. More about diagnostic MSU within physiotherapy will be discussed in the second part of this video presentation. Why the skills and knowledge about diagnostic MSU are an absolute requirement for applying RUSI successfully will also be explained in the second and third part of this video presentation. MSU, both diagnostic as RUSI, can assist the physiotherapist in almost every step of treating a patient. Of course, only if there is an indication for the use of ultrasound. Click the pause button and study this flow chart closely before proceeding with the presentation. More information about this flow chart will be given in part 2 and 3. I can set up tailor-made MSU courses for your country, company or educational institute. This video presentation has been approved by Anatomy and Physiotherapy. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.